For this week's lesson, you will need your red book open to page 9. And you should put your cheat sheet over page 8 so that you can always look at the fingerings and the names of the notes. You also will probably need a pencil <clears throat> for pointing. Or maybe you want to write some notes in as we're going so you can have those things ready. And we always start now with our five note B flat scale. So those are the five notes that you wrote across your cheat sheet, B flat, C, D, E flat, and F, okay? And the way we're gonna play that today is very simple. We're just gonna play a half note and then a half rest on each note of the scale. So we will go B flat, rest and switch, C, rest and switch, all the way up to F, and when you're done with F, you go backwards all the way down to B flat. So let's try it. Let's get a foot check, a back check, okay? Um, make sure, look at my hands. Do you see how my right hand is away from my, it's facing away from me. This would be wrong. If both of your hands are facing your flute, you're not holding it correctly. So make sure your right hand is like eating your flute and using your fingertips for the stickers. Also, you're not allowed to move your fingers like this. Your fingers either touch the stickers or they stick straight up in the air. So they're either down or up. They're not allowed to travel. Okay, so we're going to do B flat, rest and switch. C, rest and switch. So you can read this right off your cheat sheet. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Rest and switch. Rest and switch. Pinky down. First finger down for F. Backwards forward, E flat. Picky up for D. Thumb off for C. Thumb back on. Okay? This time, we're going to do two quarter notes and then two rests. So, ta, ta, rest, switch. Ta, ta, rest, switch. You get the idea. Make sure you're actually making a T sound. I will show you the difference. This is a T sound. This is good. As opposed to what's bad. Here, I'd like the H is super weak. We don't want weak sounds on the flute. We want strong sounds. Okay, so here we go. Ta, ta, rest, rest. One, two, scale, go. Maybe you're going to try to do one on each. That's what we're going to do next time. Okay, but you want to try to get those finger patterns memorized. We're going to look at the top of page nine now. And we just have a couple markings we want to look at before we start. So take your trusty pointing device. Might be your pencil. And look at the top where it says repeat sign. The repeat sign is the two dots that are in front of the double bar line. So the double bar line is a regular double bar line, but then there's two dots. That means you need to play, if you see that, you need to go back to the beginning and play the song one more time. It doesn't mean do it infinite times. If they want you to play it more than one extra time, they have to write it out in words. So now we have to check after the end of every song before we play. We need to check if there's a repeat sign because you don't want to put your flute down and then realize that, oops, I was supposed to go back to the beginning and play it again. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to look at. So we should look at number 23. Now 23 actually has a different name that you might know. So maybe when we're saying the notes are playing it, the other song name will pop into your head. Um, they call it Merrily We Roll Along. I'm not going to tell you what the other name is. I think you'll figure it out once we start saying it. So let's scan our eyes through to the end and see if you see a repeat sign. I see a repeat sign. So the repeat sign means go back to the beginning and play it one more time. So let's say the notes for 23. Um, if you realize that you can't say them as fast as we're going right now, maybe you need to pause the video, take your cheat sheet, and look at the notes and write the letter names in. Okay, but let's try to say them first. Here's my pointing device. Right on number 23. Here we go. One, two, Say the notes. D, C, B flat, C, D, 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 C, 
C, C, D, F, F, rest. D, C, B flat, C, D, 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 C, C, D, C, B flat. Beginning again. D, C, B flat, C, D, 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 you get the point. We go all the way to the end. So if you need to write something in before we try to play it, that's fine. You can press pause and do that. Okay. Um, what we're starting to notice is that perhaps you can't switch your fingers with only one beat and no rest in between. This is why we need to make sure we're not trying to look at our hands in between the notes. Um, and you can just switch by feel. Okay. Your hands don't need to move left and right. So there's nothing to look at. You're either pressing it down or picking it up, okay? Let's try it. We're going to do it a little bit slower, but that means you have to blow longer. So that's kind of the trade-off on flute. If we go slow, you have to blow for a long time. If you can move your fingers a little faster, we don't have to blow for so long. All right, let's give it a try. Here we go. Number 23, don't forget about the repeat. One, two, start with D. That just means they stay curved. So the only thing you might see go up is my pinky because it kind of just sticks straight up. Also, your first finger can stick straight up when you're not playing, but it also could be curved, right? It doesn't have to be like that. It could be curved, just ready to play the first key, okay? So maybe you figured out what song that was and you'd like to go faster. You can work on that during the week. Let's move our eyes down to number 24. Now, number 24 is a duet, which means each part happens at the same time. So like you play A while someone else or the recording plays line B. You don't play A and then go to line B. They happen at the same time. Obviously on flute you can't play two notes at once so you have to do it one part at a time. Uh, scan your eyes all the way to the end of the song. There's a special marking and we need to look at the top of the page where it says fermata. So find and put your finger on where it says Fermata. It looks like an eyeball with an eyebrow, and sometimes it's even called a bird's eye. Fermata means a couple things. The book tells you to hold the note or rest longer than usual. So I know you're saying, well, how much longer? Here's what we're going to do. When you're playing by yourself, which is probably what you do most of the time, you decide how long the fermata will last for. It usually means at least double. Okay, so if, if it's over a two beat note, now it's a four beat note. When we're playing together like this in our lesson, on our video, I am just going to double it. So it doesn't mean you have to double it, but we have to agree that's what we're going to do so we know how long it's going to be. If you're playing in a group, in an ensemble where there's a conductor, like what we're going to do all together when we get back to school sometime, fermata means look up at the conductor. They will show you with their hands when you should stop playing. So this means keep playing and this means stop. So Right now, we, we're not using it that way, so we'll just make the fermata a double, a doubler, okay? We are going to look at line A, okay? Uh, you're going to 
be able to play line A with the track while it plays line B and vice versa, but we're gonna look at A together. So get your trusty pointing device and we are going to say the notes for line A. Now, if you know that you can read the notes really well, then you should be practicing your fingers on your flute. I just do it in rest position like this, but you move your fingers while you're saying the notes so you get practice with your fingers. So that's actually what I'm gonna do. You're either gonna point or you're gonna practice your fingers while we say lightly row line A. Here we go. One, two, say the notes. F, D, D, E flat, C, C. Here's a scale. B flat, C, D, E flat, F, F, F. Rest. F, D, D, E flat, C, C, B flat, D, F, F, B flat. And you saw how I made the B flat twice as long, right? So you heard me say in the middle, oh look, a scale. This is why we practice our B flat scale before we play, because it's going to start showing up in real songs. If those notes went by too fast for you, please pause the video and write the letter names in using your cheat sheet. Of course, your cheat sheet can always be out, but sometimes we can't look back and forth between the, video, the paper and the song fast enough. So you might need to write some letter names in. Let's try it. There's no repeat sign in this song, so we just play it once. Um, maybe you know someone you could practice with who could play line B while you play A, or you can play along with the tracks, okay? So here we go. This is 24, lightly row. Give me a foot check, a back check, okay? Make sure your lips are wet. And here we go. It starts on F. One, two, ready, play. someone else to play line A. You're actually going to record number 25 for me. I'm not going to tell you how it goes, but I am looking at it right now and I see there's a fermata at the end. There's all the notes that we know. There's even some rests and I see a little scale at the end. So I look forward to hearing your videos for number 25.